welcome back everyone for the first time visitors thanks for checking out this video and for the returning visitors you guys are awesome thumbs up so today I'm gonna to be talking about why do we want to buy organic and what to buy organic so when I first started getting into organic and healthy products I wasn't really sure of what was necessary and what wasn't necessary so it became really expensive because I was buying everything organic however there are some stable items that we must try to buy organic and I know everyone is on a different budget some budgets are higher some are lower but fortunately there are many different types of supermarkets that you can go to. You can go to the green market and uh, you can buy the store brand to help you to fit organic items into your budget. Okay, so the numero uno organic item that I always try to get are, drum roll, apples. I am always buying organic apples, organic apples. Um, there's no pesticides on these. Uh, the other apples that you buy, if you were to soak them in apple cider vinegar and, um, apple cider vinegar and water in your sink, you'll be surprised at all of the stuff that come off of the apples. Numero dos. Dos. Uno, dos. Dos. <laughs> the second thing that I always, always, always buy organic are berries. All berries. Raspberry, blueberry, strawberry, blackberry. All of the berries try to get these organic why this is the brand that I have it's a hippie what is it called hippie organic okay anyway and I got my organic strawberries okay so the strawberries three eggs Always try to buy organic eggs. If you can, stick to organic eggs. If you can't afford organic eggs, substitute with brown eggs, no white eggs. Always try to get organic eggs. It has way more um, protein in it than the conventional eggs, so just stick to the organic eggs and you'll be doing great. Uh, milk, which I don't have a container of milk right now. But milk, try to get organic milk and if a bonus try to get it to be grass fed grass make sure those what is that grass fed. okay what is grass fed if you're wondering grass fed is what the cows have a diet of grass some cows um regular vitamin d cow's milk they're not eating um grass which is kind of saying oh my gosh they're not eating grass what what do what do cows eat well, to some of you guys might be surprised to find out that grass is not what all cows eat. Some cows get processed a processed diet where, you know, it's like a factory made meal that they give them to pump, pump, pump them up, pump them up really quick. All right. So make sure they're getting a grass fed diet. Uh, cow's milk or cows that have a grass, a grass fed diet, they have more CLA in their diet and CLA also aids my favorite thing in weight loss so yeah check it out grass-fed um and cows that are grass-fed they have a better quality of milk and they produce more milk okay and the milk is so much more richer uh, and it's packed with omega which we all know the how good omega is for our body and our skin um, so yeah, definitely check out for the packaging. That's a grass-fed. Oh, one more bonus point. And make sure it says 100% grass-fed and not just grass-fed. Because if it's not 100% grass-fed, they could just be giving them like 25% of a grass diet. And they're still getting um, processed food. 100% grass-fed cows only have a, um, a diet for a grass diet, okay? Um, the dirtiest of dirties, oh so dirty are the greens the king kale very dirty organic cilantro and oh yeah guys definitely check out this brand right here cal organics 
love, love Cal Organics, right? And then I have my spring mix, which I got this at BJ Foods, and uh, it's organic. Um, this retails for like four dollars. Okay, uh, this was a dollar, and this was like. 150 for a pound. Oh, a quick joke about this. This and the conventional kale was the same price. So definitely do not be afraid to skim me through the organic section. You'll be surprised at some of the products that you can find. So just always try to, you know, um, check out the organic aisle and compare prices, okay? And check out for weekly sales because the, the prices change every week. Just like uh, other items that you buy in your supermarket, the prices change every week, okay? So... The greens are very dirty, so make sure, make sure that um, if you can't afford to buy the organic uh, greens, if you have to buy the conventional, soak them in water. How do I soak mine? I use apple cider vinegar and tap water, and I leave it in there for about five minutes, and you'll be surprised at all of the stuff that come off of them. Uh, cucumbers, make sure you buy your cucumbers organic. They are very waxy when they're not organic, so... What's on the wax is basically um, germs like pesticides and all of those gooey, gooey things that we don't need in our body. Um, so, yeah, guys, pretty much to wrap it up, like I said, um, get the um, organic milk, grass-fed milk, organic apples, organic eggs, organic greens, and always organic berries. Um, you can definitely fit it into your budget. What I did when I was going organic, I just would buy one to two items per week and I would budget myself to see okay this week I'm gonna spend an extra five dollars on organic and I'm gonna cut back on something that I was buying that was considered junk food so like I would buy the organic strawberries instead of buying ice cream okay um that's how I started to trans trans um transfer into organic so, yeah, definitely, you know, check out the organic on your supermarket or the green markets. Um, find out when is your local green market and go and check it out. Talk to the local farmers and, yeah, stay blessed. And remember, God will help you. Like, he will give you the vision that you need of how to go ahead and buy organic. He will help you to figure out how to do it. Pray and say, if you don't have the money for it, say, God, listen, I want to improve my health. Open up my finances. But let me find extra money I need to go organic. And, um, yeah, you could get it done. And it, it definitely helps in weight loss. And